High on Life is a first-person shooter video game that is sure to bring a smile to your face with its absurdist premise and hilarious characters. The game takes place in a world where Earth has been taken over by aliens, who use humans as hallucinogenic drugs, and the player must embark on a journey to take revenge on the extraterrestrial drug cartel responsible. One of the standout features of High on Life is its characters, known as Gatlians. These animate weapons serve as both the player's tools of destruction and important characters in the story. The Gatlians include Kenny, a pistol voiced by Justin Roiland of Rick and Morty fame who is easily flustered, Sweezy, a foul-mouthed sniper rifle reminiscent of Halo's Needler, Creature, a weapon that uses its rapidly gestating children as ammo, and my personal favorite, Gus, a surprisingly wholesome shotgun voiced by JB Smoove of Curb Your Enthusiasm fame. These characters are easily the best part of the game, and spending an entire 16-hour journey with them in your face leads to a lot of amusing dialogue and character development. By the time the credits roll, you won't want to put your new best friends back in their holsters. The writing in High on Life is mostly solid, with a plethora of lowbro and irreverent jokes that will appeal to fans of classic comedy games like Borderlands 2 and South Park, The Stick of Truth. However, not all of the jokes will appeal to everyone. And some may find the abundance of cursing and shock humor to be a bit much. That being said, there are plenty of silly and absurd moments that will make you laugh, such as when you encounter an intentionally irritating alien who follows you around and rambles on until you can finally murder him, or when you go to space Applebee's and have a full meal for no apparent reason. The game is also packed with references to other media, such as Demon Wind. A real-world movie from 1990 that you can watch in its entirety in a movie theater complete with Mystery Science Theater 3000-like commentary from some nearby aliens. The campaign in High on Life is about 8 hours long, but it can easily take longer to complete due to the many distractions and silly events scattered throughout the game. For example, you may find yourself teleporting a stretch of freeway onto a jungle planet and watching the occupants of the cars who have been taken with it slowly devolve into an insane cult that sacrifices their own to appease the asphalt gods. The game is just packed with so much absurdity, and it's always exciting to explore and see what silly event you might encounter next. While the graphics and performance in High on Life do have some issues, they are not enough to detract from the overall delightful and fun experience of the game. Oh, 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 well, okay, well now, well now I sorta, now I can.